what is the meaning of endothermic reaction what is the meaning of exothermic reaction endo endo means which is coming to inside exo exo meaning here is what is going outside so the reaction can be of two types in one type of reaction some amount of energy will taken from the surrounding and some type of energy reaction uh, reaction the energy is provided to the surrounding so suppose if you react h2so4 uh, with maybe hcl or maybe any base suppose you are just reacting noh so what there would be there would be sudden release of energy in the atmosphere why because some amount of heat is generated there which is coming to the atmosphere if i give you simple example the calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is what that is lime or in the hindi language it is called as chuna so if you put this lime in the water immediately there would be release in temperature and you can feel there is increase in temperature of the water why because that is the temperature or the heat coming outside in the atmosphere so that is a kind of reaction which is giving energy to the outside of the atmosphere so that is how we define any reaction suppose there is another reaction which is for example if i tell you glucose c6h12o6 so suppose you have glucon d or any amount of glucose your glucose i am talking about if you put that just glucose in your mouth so that is a kind of reaction which takes energy similarly you can feel coldness in your tongue in your mouth why because this particular reaction the reaction of this glucose with the water or saliva it requires energy and it will take energy from your mouth and there would be feel of coldness in your mouth so that is a kind of another reaction so that is how we define the reaction endothermic reaction endothermic reactions are those reactions in which energy is required for the completion of reaction so energy will be taken from the atmosphere or maybe surrounding so this example calcium carbonate lime in the water is example of a endothermic reaction if a reaction absorbs or uses more energy than it releases the reaction is endothermic endo means coming inside the energy endo energy is coming to the inside of the system so endothermic and enthalpy here will be positive now how to remember this positive term here that is simple suppose if there is benefit to the system so because here energy is absorbed here or uses by this particular system so here there is energy absorption by the surrounding so that is a benefit for the system it is taking energy from the outside so that's why the value of enthalpy here is positive so by this way you can remember this is remembering concept only for example the photosynthesis reaction in the photosynthesis reaction the sunlight's energy sun's energy is used to produce the glucose so that is a kind of endothermic reaction and here delta h value would be positive positive means delta s is equals to more than 0 here then we have another type of reaction that is exothermic so this is just exothermic it means you are giving energy by reaction to the surrounding or to the outer atmosphere so if a reaction releases more energy than it absorbs the reaction is exothermic and enthalpy will be negative because this is loss to the system the energy is lost from the system to the surrounding so this is kind of exothermic reaction that's why delta h is negative here or this is less than zero here for example here the respiration process in the respiration process the glucose is burned and if glucose is burned so it will release some energy so you can see that the reaction of the glucose with oxygen which is ultimately burning and this way we will get energy that is a kind of exothermic reaction so example and delta h value and the meaning you should remember here the delta h of the whole reaction how you will measure so delta h reaction is equals to delta h of the products that is delta h p and minus delta h of the reactants delta h r so p is the product here or produce here and r are the reactants here so in the catalyst book you can find out some examples here uh, the delta h reaction value is asked and delta h produce value delta h reactant value is provided so to solve those questions use this particular formula you will easily get the delta h reaction value 
just subtracting the two values. So this is what you can find out in the catalyst book as well. So I hope you will find out that question and you will solve it. Enthalpy is completed now. Now we will start the next topic. That is entropy. Now what is the entropy? So entropy in the thermodynamics is the quantity whose value depends on the physical state or condition of a system. Now how to understand the concept of entropy? So just you can understand in a layman language or in a very simple language, entropy means disarrangement. Now what is the meaning of disarrangement here? Disarrangement means how disarranged a particular thing is, a particular system is. If the system is very highly disarranged, so we can say that the system is having high entropy. If everything is arranged, we would say that that system is having low energy. So just assume a room here, maybe a, or a, your friend's room, maybe or maybe any person's room or house that you have visited and you can find out the things are totally messy there. There is no arrangement of things. All the things are just everywhere. You can find out there is no system of the arrangement of those things. You can find out uh, lots of clothes in the chair only then multiple books and the multiple things in the bed only. Then in the table, there are containers, there are uh, cups and all the things may be there. So all the things are completely disarranged in that particular house or room. And we would say that the entropy of that house is very high. And you can again imagine a particular room, maybe again your friend's room, or maybe you have visited any relative's home and everything you can find out is totally arranged totally arranged in the table there are good books uh, in the then in the bed all the things are well arranged or the bed sheet is properly arranged and everything you can find out in the proper place so we can say that in that house entropy is very low there is no disarrangement of the things so in other words the thermodynamic function used to measure the randomness or disorder or disarrangement in any particular thing so how randomness is there? How much disorder is there? Higher would be the disorder, higher would be the randomness. We would say higher is the entropy value. Lower is the randomness, lower is the disorder. We would say there is lower entropy. So for example, if I told you, there is a particular solid and there is a particular gas. So in the gas, the particles move constantly and the arrangement is not there. But in the solid, there is a crystal clear arrangement of the things. That's why that particular thing is solid. So this type of arrangement you can only find out in the solid. So what we can understand here, the entropy of this gaseous container or the gaseous chamber is very, very high. So this is delta S. But in the solid, this delta S is very, very low. So the entropy of a solid where the particles are not free to move is less than the entropy of a gas. Here delta S is low. And this is the gaseous entropy, where the particles will fill the container completely. And these are also moving well far apart with each other. So this is what delta S is. How to measure this entropy? Entropy can be measured is equals to Q divided by T. Here the Q is the internal energy. You can say T is the temperature of that particular system. So if you divide these two quantities, you will get the delta S value. The delta S is equals to positive here if reaction is a spontaneous. Now, what is the meaning of this? We would see that delta S is equals to negative if reaction is non-spontaneous. Spontaneous means without any external force, the reaction automatically takes place. So you can just, again, take the example of this room. Suppose if I say, go to this particular clean house and disarrange the things as you want just throw the things here and there and just create the disorder and randomness in the room so you can imagine that work is very very easy there is no thinking required no a uh, kind of uh, tension required easily you can just just de-arrange the things very quickly and if i say go to this particular room which is already very messy there is a high amount of disorder presence there and if i told you just arrange the room properly arrange the room in this way. I will uh, 
provide you some way how to arrange the rooms. Maybe this thing there, this thing there, that, like that way I can provide you some time, some time as well as some kind of support. So on that way, you can see that here the problem is more. So creating the things in order is very problematic. While just creating disorderness, randomness is very, very easy. So that's why here delta S is equals to positive. If reaction is spontaneous, spontaneous means which happen automatically. Suppose if any room is arranged. So if you start living there and if you are not just cleaning the room, not just arranging the things, so automatically after some time there would be disarrangement. So that is a kind of a spontaneous thing. Automatically that is taking place without any external force. So here the delta S is positive. Automatically it is taking place. And then delta S is negative when it is non-spontaneous. You need some effort to clean the room, to arrange the things. So that is the delta S where the delta S and copy is negative. In this reaction, this is non-automatic. There is attention required, effort required. So that is reaction of non-spontaneous. So I hope this delta S example is clear to you. If you look at the universe, the all reactions are just increasing the entropy uh, in a very, very long run. There is no decrease in entropy. With each reaction, there would be increase in entropy always in the whole universe. If you look at the Bing, Big Bang theory as well, the, all the galaxies are moving far apart from each other. So on that way, the entropy of the universe constantly increasing. Randomness is constantly increasing. So there is always movement of the galaxies which are going far away with each other. So that is what entropy is and the universe's entropy is continuously increasing and it will increase till the end of the universe. So I hope this entropy concept is clear to you.